Hey, what's up? Amelia here. It's National Science Week, so today we're bringing you a special episode. Let's see what's coming up. UNICEF's Climate Report. Some very, very big coral. And the science of photography. But before we get to all that, don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks. First up, a new report from UNICEF says almost half of the world's kids are at really high risk because of climate change. It says that around the globe, almost every kid is in danger from at least one climate problem. Things like flooding, droughts, disease or heat waves. Children are the ones who will be most impacted by this crisis and the ones who will suffer the most from its consequences. Now it's time to find out about today's famous Aussie scientist. Check it out. This is quantum physicist Michelle Simmons. Growing up, Michelle Simmons was really interested in working out exactly how things work, how the world is put together. So she became a physicist. Well, actually, she became a quantum physicist. You see, computers, or rather computer chips, are becoming smaller and smaller and smaller over time. And eventually, they could be the size of atoms, the smallest thing we know of in the universe. This is quantum computing, a field where Michelle Simmons is a leading scientist. Her research focuses on building electronics at this teeny tiny scale. And in 2013, she developed the world's first transistor, one of the building blocks of electronics, from a single atom. These quantum computers are more than 150 million times faster than any other computer in the world. And Simmons' research could help revolutionise things like artificial intelligence, self-driving cars, or developing medicines. In 2018, Simmons was named Australian of the Year for her pioneering efforts in science. What's 400 years old and the size of a double-decker bus? This massive egg thing. Except it's not an egg, it's coral. It's just been discovered at the Great Barrier Reef. To be able to find something surprising in your own backyard, measure it and share it with the world, it's fantastic. Measuring in at more than five metres tall and ten and a half metres wide, it's thought to be at least 400 years old. Finally today, we've asked Nat to share the science behind one of his favourite things, photography. And I think you'll like what he creates. Taking a picture is something we all take for granted, but being able to capture light and save it is a pretty recent invention. Back in the day, photos were taken on photographic film coated in a thin layer of silver crystals that react to light. Literally, each photo was a chemical reaction between the film's emulsion and light. But before you could see your photos, you had to develop them. Here's a fun way to develop black and white film using mostly stuff I already had at home. First, I'm going to add one and a half teaspoons of vitamin C powder to 600 mils of water, 10 teaspoons of instant coffee, and about seven teaspoons of washing powder, aka sodium carbonate. Mix it all up and there we go. That's our developer. Now this is a light-proof developing tank and the film is inside. We're going to go ahead and put our developer in. Stirring for a minute and then about three times a minute for about 11 minutes. Then we rinse. Now the fixer, or sodium thiosulfate. Its job is to wash away all the silver that didn't react to light and stop the negative from fading. Here we go. Wow, look at the results. Now, if you look up into the night sky, you might notice a few stars. While it might not seem like it, those stars are moving very, very slowly, or rather, we are. A great way to show off Earth's rotation is to take super long exposures of the night sky, sometimes called star trails. And that's what Kayla and I are here to try. All right, we're gonna start with a 20 second exposure. Here we go. So not much movement in the stars, but let's do a 10 minute exposure. Here we go. There we go. See, now it's a bit easier to see how we're spinning around. See that center point, that's where the South Pole is, where the Earth spins around, its axis. And I reckon it deserves a spot in the pool room. This isn't a pool room. <laughs> 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 
Thanks for joining us for National Science Week. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next week.